All right, so let's sit down and talk about this one. Do I regret selling the Scat Pack and getting the M4? All right, so here we are, you guys see it. We got the M4 with us. And a lot of you all know that about a year or so ago, I sold my Scat Pack. And now, a few months ago, I got the M4. But some of you are wondering why I sold the Scat Pack. And I know you're also wondering if I regret selling the Scat Pack for this M4. Well, that's exactly what we're about to be talking about today. So without further ado, let's get right to it. So first of all, let's start with the negatives. Obviously, number one, we could say, is the sound. Scat Pack sounds amazing. As far as the tone and the sound of the Scat Pack, you really can't beat that in my opinion. You don't really gotta do too much. All I ever did was delete the mufflers on it and everybody would always ask me, you know, what I did to the exhaust. It sounds so good, you know? Obviously this one is still stock. We do have some stuff coming for it, so stay tuned for that. It's gonna make it sound a whole lot better, but it's just hard to beat the sound of an American Muscle Scat Pack. Another one that uh, maybe some of you guys may not be aware of is this one is more expensive. You know, this is a much more expensive vehicle. Not quite double the price, but this is more in the Hellcat range. You know, the Scat Packs go for around 40, 50,000 depending. These ones here go for around 70, 80 depending on how you spec it. This is a different level vehicle. As far as the performance you get for the price, you know, it's hard to beat the Scat Pack. The Scat Pack gives you a lot of performance for the price you're getting it at. But this thing here, as we'll get into in a second, the driving experience with it, we'll touch on it in a second. Another positive for the Scat, and this is more suited towards like if you have a YouTube channel or something, because if you're just a regular buyer, you know, getting a Scat Pack, this might not benefit you as much. But the Scat Pack is a very popular car. So when it comes to YouTube, if you could entertain in any way, you know, give some good information, a Scat Pack is gonna be a nice boost to your channel, especially a wide body Charger Scat Pack. These are popular as well, but I feel like more people can relate to the Scat Pack because it's more attainable. Whereas this is, like I said, more expensive. So, you know, the audience is a little different. So that's one thing transitioning to this car right here for this channel. It's a little process, you know, because I built my channel on the Scat Pack. Obviously, a lot of you that are still here came for the Scat Pack content. So it's a bit of a transition, but we're going to make it work because we're just getting started. I just put the lip on it. We got so much more stuff to come. You guys seen what I did with the Scat Pack. So just know your boy is not going to, I'm not going to fail you guys. And by the way, this blue with the carbon, oh my. And another thing real quick. You see the 1391 apparel. If you guys are interested in that, hit the link in the bio, 1391.com. Go support the channel. Another negative for this car here, the wheels are staggered. In the Scat Pack, you had the 305 3020s, you know, all the way around, all four corners. This one, you got the 265 3020s, and these are the Michelin Super Sports, which aren't a cheap tire, you know what I'm saying? And then back here, you got the 285 3020s. And if you guys seen my recent short, and I think I talked about it in a video, I don't know what it is with these tires. I had to replace this one because in less than three months of ownership, 
I got four nails in the tire. That's insane, bro. I don't know what it is if someone's messing with me or if these tires are just magnetic or if they're just so sticky, like I have no idea. Other than that, I can't really think of too many more negatives. Obviously the look of the scat pack was super nice. You know, it's easy to stand out in a scat pack, especially when you add the lip. The side skirts, the wing, you know, the diffuser. These things though as well, like, I just feel like there's so many BMWs that look similar. You might stand out a little more in a scat pack even though there's so many of them. You could always customize your scat pack like I did. I feel like I had one of the best looking scat packs. I don't know, you guys tell me. Like I said, for the price of the scat pack, it was an amazing looking car. This thing, once I'm finished with it, you guys will see. It might look a little plain right now. The lip adds a big difference but once the other pieces come in, it's gonna totally transform the look. I still haven't lowered it. Look at the wheel gap on this. You guys know we're getting rid of that, so stay tuned. But I can't think of any more negatives. If you guys could think of any more negatives, drop a comment down below. All right, so since we talked about all the negatives, now let's get into the positives. Obviously, as I touched on before, this thing is on another level. That German engineering is no joke. As far as the driving experience and the full all-around engineering, the whole experience with it, it's on another level, you know what I'm saying? Like, the handling on this thing, everything is just crazy. It's not comparable to a scat pack. It's crazy, this thing, it almost gives you too much confidence. I'm more of like a handling type of guy. The straight line stuff, the torquey stuff is fun. This also has that too. You know, a few little slight modifications. It's already faster than a scat pack. If you guys haven't seen me race a scat pack, go back and check that video. We are gonna get a run in with a charger and also a Daytona that has a few modifications. So we'll see how that goes. But this thing is quick. And like I said, I'm more of a handling type of guy, which an autocross event is coming up in the next couple days. You know we're gonna get some content in with that. We got a ZL1 going, we got other Beamers, we got usually Porsches, Teslas, Type Rs. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. But it's just not comparable, the driving experience you get with this thing. Like I said, it is expensive, but you get what you pay for. And if you guys wanna know how much I paid for this, make sure you go back and check that video because I do talk about it. So we talked about the handling on another level, the quality of this car, you know, there's so many features with it. I'll show you guys over here. Of course, in the SCAT, you had all these features as well. You know, you could take the trash control off. This one's a little easier. You ain't got to hold it down. You can mess with the steering. You can mess with the suspension. And you could also mess with the transmission. You could set it here for whatever you like. This is fully customizable. You got M1, M2. My M1 is all sport. My M2, you gotta press that twice to confirm it because you're going into, you know what I'm saying, Sport Plus. You got the trash control fully off. And then I usually just hit that, put that in comfort. You see this right here, that tells you when you're like merging out of either lane and the whole steering wheel will start vibrating. Obviously, I'm not gonna be able to show you guys that because you can't see it, you could only feel it. That's a dope, uh, pretty dope feature right there. Over here is where you control all of that. You see, I could turn it off and on. And it'll tell you right here, warning of vehicle departing from lane. Boom, that's that one. And then the middle one here, frontal collision warning, pedestrian warning. So if you get too close, you know, it'll tell you, it'll warn you, and it'll come up on the heads up display. You see the heads up display there, that. Man, I love that feature. And then you got this one over here. That's gonna tell you warning of a possible collision when changing lanes. So there's a good amount of features with this. Obviously you got the Apple CarPlay, cell clutch. This is how you control everything. Carbon fiber, you see the six speed manual, you see the setup. All links are down below in the description for everything I use on this channel, so check that out. But you know, you got the nav, connected drive tells you the weather, you see the vehicle, gives you little notifications. You got the vehicle settings with the lighting and everything on there. You got iDrive, you can customize all of that. You got the M drive one, M drive two, like I was just showing you guys. Those are these little buttons. You got the driver profile. So if you wanna switch drivers and different drivers have different customizations, 
you have all that. You got guests on so they can't drive so fast. Vehicle status tells you everything. This is how you measure, you know, the tire pressure. This is how you measure the oil. It's gonna tell you right here if any service is required. Everything is good. Technology in action. You know in the SCAT you had so many dope features. This one you have a few as well. You got the sports display right here. Horsepower, torque, driving information, owner's manual. So you got a good amount of stuff here. This thing has heads up display. That feature is crazy. Like it feels like you're in a video game, especially when you're shifting. You can see the revs and you don't, you don't gotta look down. Like you keep your eyes on the road. That feature right there kind of sets things over the top for me. I love that feature so much. And another thing is, you know, this is a six speed manual transmission. If you follow the channel, you know I've been talking about wanting a manual car again for so long. When I went to the Charger, I came from a six speed Challenger and I enjoyed having an automatic car for, you know, the first few months. After a while, I started missing being able to shift my own gears. And now we're back in a manual car and this one of all cars the experience is just like you know I can't say enough about it also you see we got the carbon fiber accents on the interior that comes with the package that I got I don't know if like that's a package thing or if that just comes with all M4s and since this is the competition package the seats light up you see it says M4 right there there's holes in the seats make the seats lighter make them look so much better the interior looks dope obviously it's just black but I feel like it suits a blue car better than red interior would I could always switch it out but I feel like red interior with the blue exterior is just too much you got the carbon fiber on the roof you know this all comes from factory like this so the quality that you get like I said you paid top dollar for this car but all the little things look this is functional air vents right here with the m4 badge you got the competition wheels that are more expensive than a lot of wheels out there the blue calipers which are a little dirty right now excuse me it has been raining a lot i mean this car is just next level man and this is pretty much fully stock right now you got the quad tip exhaust back here which you know will be upgraded very very soon like i was telling you guys the rear end on this thing the rear end is bro the lines in this car are crazy the aerodynamics everything was for a purpose from what i've heard in order to compete with this car you got to be in a top level type of vehicle you know what i'm saying when it comes to the track performance you guys could go look at throttle house and you know all the other channels that have tested this out on the track this thing was built to perform another thing let's pop this real quick more carbon fiber you see we got more carbon fiber in the engine bay, which needs to be cleaned now that I see it. You don't have a dipstick in here, which is kind of crazy. So I'm kind of indifferent about that. I would like a dipstick kind of just because like, I don't know, I feel like I'd rather check it myself, but the car actually measures that itself. So it'll tell you when it needs more oil. It tells you all of that. Like I said, the engineering on this thing is different. And I know I said the sound of the scat pack is better. I do still stand by that. I like the sound of the scat pack better, but there is one thing that this has that the scat pack doesn't, and that's the twin turbos. As you guys could hear those things sound so sick i love the turbo sound on this car it makes me want to just waste gas all the time like i try to save gas but i end up in sport plus because you can hear it a little more in sport plus and especially shifting gears you get a little more control of the sound and i can't save gas to save my life you know what i'm saying because the sound is just so crazy it's so sick i love the sound of it it's addicting as I said before, this thing is faster than a scat pack. If you haven't seen the video, go check it out. We're gonna go test it against more cars as well. So we'll see how it stacks up against a whole bunch of different type of vehicles while it's stock. And then we'll do a couple things to it and we'll see how it stacks up even more against higher level vehicles. Another positive with this is there's so many aftermarket parts. There's so many aftermarket options with this. The customizations you could do with it are like Pretty much endless from the exterior to the interior there's just so much you could do and not just cosmetically but obviously the potential of this thing is crazy that's one of the reasons that I did get out of the scat pack is because the potential on that as far as performance goes pretty expensive not a lot of numbers 
Whereas on this thing, downpipes, tune, you're right there with the Hellcat. You know what I'm saying? Imagine full bolt-on. You've seen I was in a pretty modified F80 recently. If you haven't seen that, go check that out. That thing is insane. The only downfall is you do have to get the crank hub done on these. You don't have to, but it's highly recommended. It's very risky if you don't. It's not proven that there is issues with the crank hub, but you know, a lot of people do highly recommend that you get the crank hub done if you go over a certain amount of horsepower. It's not something that I would be willing to risk. It does cost a couple grand, so that does kind of suck, but you know, it is what it is. You gotta pay to play in this game. And I was just talking about the gas mileage in this. The gas mileage is better. I might be driving it harder, you know what I'm saying? Every single day I can't help myself, but I still get better gas. In a SCAD, I was getting about 10, 11 miles per gallon, depending on how I'm driving. You could get it higher than that, but like I said, I like to have fun in my cars. I can't help it, that's just how I am. This one, I get about 16.6. .6. You can get it higher, but as I just said, I'm not very good at that. Another thing that is clutch in this, the SCAT had CarPlay, but you had to plug it in, which kind of sucked, I never used it. This has wireless CarPlay. So I'm always using the CarPlay now. Love that feature. The whole plugging in thing, I didn't like that. I don't know, the newer SCAT packs might not have to plug in, but this is a 2020, same year as the SCAT, and uh, you just get a little more, you know? Obviously you pay more, but you get more. One thing I do wanna mention, and anybody else who owns a BMW, you guys could let me know if you experience the same thing. One thing I've noticed, people are angry at me now. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm not that much of an asshole on the road. Sometimes I can, you know, do some things that I'm not so proud of. I'm sorry, anybody out there on the road who's seen this car and uh, got a little upset. But I've noticed that people get a lot more upset with me now in this car, like people flipping me off and I'm just like, bro, I'm just out here having fun. I'm not like cutting you off, I'm just doing my thing, but a lot more people have been getting mad at me in this thing on the road like than I've noticed in the scat. I don't know if I'm just like more aware now or what, but drop a comment down below my BMW owners. Is that something you guys experience as well or is that just me? And another thing is that I can't help but mention, I just feel like this car suits me better. I was in big bulky muscle cars for, you know, since I've been able to have a car pretty much. I had the Challenger, moved to the Charger. Now I'm in this thing and it's just different man it's a different feeling it's a different experience it's sportier not as big and bulky but still takes up a good amount of the road as you guys can see it has a good shape to it i wouldn't say it's a compact car but it's definitely not a huge car it's definitely not as big as the charger it's just a different feeling but i feel like this thing suits me a lot better all right so let's sit down and talk about this one do i regret selling the scat pack and getting the m4 Another thing, look. Red push to start button from the factory. Also got the automatic uh, turn off the engine feature when you stop. I don't use that, I don't like it. A lot of features in here. There's a thing in here that charges your phone. I don't really use it too much, but so many features in this. You know, I'm gonna do a full review of it pretty soon in my full opinion, even though like this is pretty much a good review. Also, the Harman Kardon. The Harman Kardon sound system. You see the M4 badging on the side of the door when you get in. The M Performance seat belts. It's just the little things, you know what I'm saying? It's just the little things, people. But back to why a lot of you guys are here. Do I regret selling the Scat Pack and getting an M4? Absolutely not. I love the Scat Pack, had so much fun with it. I appreciate every minute I had with it. I appreciate all the growth it brought me on YouTube and everywhere else. But I feel like that period in time, you know, it served its purpose, it's done. I had my fun with it. I don't regret it whatsoever. I'm in the M4 now and I'm loving every single second of it. I got so much planned for it. I'm excited for myself and for you guys to see everything we're gonna do with this thing. We haven't even begun to get started with it. So just stay tuned guys, buckle your seatbelts, it's gonna be a bumpy ride. We're gonna do so much. If you enjoy what you're seeing, sub for more content, I'm gonna catch you guys on the next one, I appreciate you, salute.